So there's been a big increase in the number of vets who are developing seizures even long after they've had these penetrating head traumas. It can occur even up to 10 to 15 years after their wounds. You know, the concussions that veterans, vets can get from a bomb going off where it shakes your brain can actually scar the brain and cause an irritative lesion that can cause seizures. And that's what worries us so much. Shaking the brain is not a good thing, and these scars can create permanent neurological problems, cognitive problems, as well as epilepsy. And the, the issue too is that it, it may not often occur until so many years later that you think you're home free and things are going well and then all of a sudden you start to have seizures. They're more often in this case partial seizures, either complex partial or simple partial seizures that occur after the head trauma. So our veterans need to be watched very closely especially after they've been exposed to war, getting repetitive concussions, or having a penetrating head wound, as we discussed before, that really can cause repetitive seizures. And I think we, we tend to think, even with the blunt trauma, that if there's no bleeding or there's nothing on the imaging, that they're not at risk, and yet they still are for a long time. So the veterans need to be aware that if they've had any kind of head trauma, they're at increased risk for seizures. Their family members need to be aware that if they start having problems that they may chalk up to being psychiatric issues, they may actually be seizures and they need to get them in to see neurology pretty quickly.